These men traveled for weeks in pursuit of Jesus. Leaning on a prophecy and a star, they ventured into the unknown. The wise men rode for weeks, traveling by night in order to follow the strange stars. Old scrolls and prophecies spoke of this star. This star was a sign, a sign of the new king of Israel, a sign of the Messiah. Think about how far Jesus was willing to go in pursuit of us and what he was ready to lay down, his very life for us. Hello and welcome to another Christmas episode of the Heartbeat of Faith podcast. I'm Dr. Andrew Farley. Today we continue our look into the people who were first to behold the newborn king. The shepherds were the first to see Jesus lying in a manger. Eight days later, two elderly prophets sang over the baby. Next, over a year after the birth of Jesus, Philosopher kings traveled across the land to get a glimpse of the king of the Jews. The desert sand was cold underneath the evening sky. A caravan of camels walked in formation underneath the eastern stars. Riding on the camels were three wise men from the south. They were scholars and astronomers that had tracked the stars closely for any abnormalities. When they discovered that there was a new bright star resting over Judea, they wasted no time in packing their things and leaving. The wise men rode for weeks, traveling by night in order to follow the strange stars. Old scrolls and prophecies spoke of this star. This star was a sign, a sign of the new king of Israel, a sign of the Messiah. The wise men, or magi, are often depicted as a small group of three men at Christmas. However, the group was probably much more prominent, consisting of astrologers, philosophers, magicians, and biblical scholars. These men were most likely devotees to the Scripture, left over from the Jewish influence in Babylon. It's nice to imagine Daniel's effect on the people of Persia, ultimately leading to this group of men who visited Jesus. This was but one example of how Daniel and his friends began to transform the Babylonian culture. They increased in knowledge, wisdom, and favor with God. They had visions and dreams and began to transform the hearts of those around them. Nebuchadnezzar brought them into his presence as counselors and wise men. In every matter, he found them ten times more insightful than the Babylonian scholars, magicians, and enchanters. The Magi, who were not Israelites, seemed to have a better grasp on the Hebrew prophecy than most Jews of the time. They eagerly awaited the Messiah, proving that God's message was always meant to stretch further than the borders of Israel. To the Gentiles. These foreigners traveled for weeks in pursuit of Jesus. Leaning on a prophecy and a star, they ventured into the unknown. God promised Abraham that all the nations would be blessed through Jesus. And this story is a beautiful example of that fulfillment. The Psalms foretold that foreign kings would bow down before the newborn Messiah. The kings of Tarshish and of the islands will bring tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yes, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. Psalm 72, 10 through 11 The wise men approached the home of Jesus with gifts in hand. The three gifts given to Jesus, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, each carry a deep symbolic meaning. Gold represents Jesus' kingship and divine right to rule. Frankincense symbolizes his priestly role and union with the Father. And myrrh foreshadows his mortality, suffering, and role as a healer. 
highlighting key aspects of his identity and mission. As the family shared a moment of tenderness, they heard a knock at the door. Joseph got up to answer and saw the three wise men draped in expensive robes standing outside. We have come to see the king, one of them said. So Joseph let them inside. They saw him resting in the arms of his mother and bowed. Mary watched as these men of power and knowledge worshipped at the feet of her child. Her and Joseph were beginning to realize just how special this moment was. The men brought in a small chest. In it were three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Unbeknownst to the wise men, these gifts would represent the royalty, divinity, and death of Christ. In these presents were hidden secrets to the life and death of God's chosen king. After giving the gifts, the men said goodbye and returned to their home. These gifts collectively embody significant elements of Jesus' life and core aspects of the Christian faith. The people who beheld Jesus in the beginning understood the weight of who he was, and it compelled them to worship him. However, it would take the rest of the world quite a bit of time to discover who he really is. Even his own disciples would wrestle with his identity. Jesus patiently reveals himself through his word and through his spirit who indwells us today. We simply need to expect it, to pay attention as he moves within us, motivating us and inspiring us with his great love. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Heartbeat of Faith podcast. Follow the podcast so you can learn the Bible in this entertaining and inspiring way. Download the Pray.com app, and for more encouragement in God's grace, visit andrewfarley.org. That's andrewfarley.org. America's federal debt just reached $33 trillion, and many economists predict the weight of this crippling debt load will soon topple the whole financial system. Concerned Americans are diversifying their assets into physical gold with the help of Birch Gold Group. If you want a physical asset held in a tax-sheltered retirement account, you should call Birch Gold too. But learn for yourself. Text the word HEARTBEAT to 989898 and they'll send you a free info kit on gold. If you have an IRA or a 401k from a previous employer just gathering dust, Birch Gold can help you convert it into an IRA in gold, and you don't have to pay a penny out of pocket. Text HEARTBEAT to the number 989898 to claim your free info kit on gold. There's no cost or obligation, so do it now. Text HEARTBEAT to 989898.